Howdy, howdy. First model clip after honeymoon. Wife's not around. She went to visit family, so I have a few days to myself. Try to catch up on this thing. We're going to talk Mercury 9 real quick. Because I have a couple of seams that are giving me trouble on the second stage here. As you can see, I'm using red putty. The red putty is a Bondo Spot putty. I mean, look at my putty review video. You'll see why I did this. Um, just took a look at a few different putties, and that stuff is the best. I've also got it going on the first stage. All the other seams, but where these little red marks are done on the first stage. So once I get that smoothed out, and those were barely visible. I'm just being uptight about it. Okay? Those seams were very, very visible. So that's done. Hopefully that finishes the seams on this guy. Because this whole side is done. I've got a few little plastic circles I cut out with a hole punch. And I'm going to use those to jazz her up a little bit. i got to cut some more because when I left, there were about six of them sitting here on my desk. And when I come back from vacation, there are two. That's not surprising. Okay, come back from the honeymoon there too. You got cats. What can I say? Cats get into everything. They investigate everything. So, let's talk about that. Not the cats. Let's punch some holes. Okay? I think I put this in an earlier video. I'm sure I did. But, while I've got you guys on camera, I'm going to go ahead and punch a few holes. This is just a piece of styrene sheet that I use for various purposes. I was talking it over with the wife, and we were at the hobby shop, and I wanted a punch punch set. And I started looking at the punch sets. They're fifty, sixty, seventy, a hundred dollars, and the cheap ones, just quite frankly, don't work right. Then I'm walking around. Uh, Michael's, one of the big box hobby shops, and I see these guys. They were two dollars a piece. They come in many, many different sizes and shapes for that matter. And I decided I was going to buy a few of them and give them a try. And you know what? I have not been disappointed by them. Primarily because, you can see right here, I've already punched a few holes. Let me get my remote and do a zoom. Yeah, like, you guys haven't seen me do this before. Let's see if I can get it going the right direction. You can see I've already punched a few holes in this thing. Let's back it out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And this is just a hole punch. You just put it in there and go, ah! And since this is a pretty thick, heavy plastic stock, it really doesn't like punching these holes very well, but that's okay. If I were to get some thinner stock, uh, the catch tray is open. There we go. If I were to get some thinner stock, of course, this will punch a lot easier. But being thick, heavy stock, it doesn't like doing it. And remember, these were designed for paper. They were not designed for plastic, being as it may. All right, now, let's discuss the plastic card, what it does to the plastic card. It left a few marks in there, but it makes some pretty good holes. Okay, it's going to give you the same result as one of those expensive punch dies, I mean punch sets. Okay, I just take the thing, shake it, wrong direction. Of course I always do that. I take the thing and just shake it and I get these little plastic circles right here on my desk. Let me move them where you can see them. Okay, little plastic circles right there. Drop the camera a little bit. There they are. Okay. And what I'm going to do with them now is use them to help decorate some detail I removed on this ship. As soon as my seams are done, I'm going to remove all the silver paint that you see all over her. The silver paint's just high contrast so I can see if the seams are fixed or not. Okay. And once the seams are fixed, then again, I'm just going to put these dots on there where I removed them. Like I removed two dots right here. Okay. 
I can tell where I removed them. The directions will show me as well. And there's a couple there. And I removed some from the command chip. All right, let's quit being long-winded. Let me get to work. I got a lot of work to do. I've got some gluing to do on the first stage. I'm going to start putting her together, the bottom half of it together, the engines, the thrusters that go in here, the covers on these engines that go back here. I need to drill out the covers for these up here. So I got some work to do. I'm going to get busy. I want that done tonight. I want the whole Mercury 9 done tonight. Should be possible if I can get going on it well enough. So instead of yammering at this, let me do this. Back later. Okay, working on the Mercury 9 and I came across a problem. I've been using the Bondo Spot Putty. Stuff cures up pretty quick. That's why I like to use it. It sands wonderfully. And as you can see, I did some sanding and that's really smooth. I'm about to hit that with silver paint just to verify. Okay, because my fingers tell me it's done, well, close to done. I, I found a spot right there that I don't like. But what I want to talk about is right there. There's where the problem is. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see it, the little dimple right there. Happened on the first stage as well as the second stage here. This stuff... Apparently I didn't let this Bondo cure up enough. Well, the Bondo was cured. It ate into the plastic and that was a soft spot. I put the Bondo on probably a little too thick is what happened. And I didn't let it sit overnight. I usually let it sit overnight. And well, I found a soft spot where it ate into the plastic. Had I let it cured long enough, I don't think that would have been an issue. But I didn't let it cure very long and it just ate her up. Remember, this is not styrene. This is ABS plastic. It's a little bit different. So it doesn't surprise me that it's doing that. And it did it on this part, too. Okay. Yeah, right there. It did it right there. So I'm going to have to rebondo this part right here. Make sure I put a thin layer and just let her sit overnight before I attack her. That's okay, I got plenty to do on the command center. I'm about to just do a little bit of Bondo work on the command center too. I'll show you what I'm doing with that when I get to it. Anyhow, I'm going to go hit the Bondo on this, take a break for a little bit, probably for the rest of the day. Anyhow, be back later. Alright, here we have a piece of black card. I'm going to hit it with some alclad, alclad chrome right there. Now, we're experimenting tonight. I want to see if I can mix the metal colors with alclad. I'm sure I can get on the internet and look it up and find out. I think it would be more fun to try. So what I have is about five drops of chrome in the airbrush. Now i got some gold. We're going to try and mix, uh, actually, we're going to try the steel first. Let me reshake the steel just a little bit because stuff does settle kind of quick. So I got some steel right there. I'm getting a fresh dropper tube. Three drops of steel in there. Now, I'm about to do something really idiotic. Okay, I backpedaled to mix it. And yeah, it give me a different color result. You can see it right there. It changed the chrome. It's no longer as chrome. I'm trying to flush the airbrush out. Okay. Now we're going to try the chrome, I mean the steel, by itself to see what color that comes out like. Because it's a darker color.
okay just so we can see what the steel looks like all by itself a couple more drops of steel in there and I'm gonna add to it some pale gold let's get the steel off here I got a dropper set aside just for the pale gold I have some copper too and some magnesium uh, I just want to see how the gold mixes with it okay got too much gold in there being lacquer it doesn't like to stick in my we're getting a mixture there but unfortunately there's too much gold in there way too much gold so I'm gonna blow the gold out there, gold is blown. We're gonna add like three drops of gold so I know how much is there. I'm gonna get the steel back here and we're gonna add an even amount of steel. There's some reasons why I'm trying this. This is an experiment because I have the Mercury 9 to paint and I would like to know if I can mix my cu own custom colors. Okay. And get some different definition here. Okay, Selena. Gold seems to overwhelm everything, so I'm going to add more steel to it. A lot of steel. I got some droppers to clean up, amongst other things. But that's okay. There we go. So the gold and the steel will mix, apparently. And you get a darker color. Apparently, you can mix alclad colors, and you can paint different colors over different colors, apparently. It will let you paint different colors over different colors without them mixing. So, that's what I was trying to find out today. Glad I found out. That didn't turn. No, oh, I did. No, it didn't. It didn't hurt that. Good. that aside so that doesn't get hurt anymore all right let me clean up just wanted to see if I could mix all clad colors and you can see on this card that I got a bunch of different colors going you can see some of them are more reflective than others okay right here we have chrome we have chrome plus steel pure steel pure gold gold plus steel and on the back gold plus steel with a lot more steel than gold. A little bit of gold goes a long way in changing the colors of this stuff. Okay? And right there I think it's pure steel, again, by itself. So you can see what's up. Plus, I know you can see that little splotch right there. And you can see the two splotches there. I'm trying to see if a masking agent is affected by my planned painting method. Doesn't look like it will be. Let me clean up and we'll talk about the results of that in better light. I'm continuing my ongoing work with the Mercury 9. You can see her sitting right here. Yes, there's still putty on her. Still doing seam filling. Um, these seams were done and then I had to fiddle with them and it ruined them. Go figure. Yeah, every single seam with red putty on it was done at one time or another. That should be done tomorrow. No worries there. The upper stage is done, completely done. I just need to put a little silver paint on it right there to verify it's done. And then I'll remove the silver paint. Okay. Um, this was an experiment in progress. You'll see that clip before this one where I'm painting up different colors of Alclad. 
Give me a second. I want to get something. I'll be back in a second. Hey, YouTube land. This is why I took my bride on our honeymoon. Speaking of brides, she looks happy too. We have just one outstanding view here. I do mean outstanding. Lots of visitors up here. The rental vehicle. The road we came up. Nelly taking photos of me videotaping you. Me taking video of her photoing me. Alpine lakes and meadows down there. Going over the top of tourist. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm a tourist. I'm a tourist. with some serious photography equipment. <laughs> I'm on top of the world. Just beautiful. Far up, are we? Don't know. A lot of waves, but we're not. It's cold. I mean, we're over two miles above sea level.